Good morning. My name is Lindy. For those of you who haven't met me before, I'm going to be 76 years old next month, and I moved into my van two years ago. My rent kept going up. I was still working all the time to meet, make ends meet, to pay rent, food, you know, all the things you pay for. And um, I decided to move into a van and go on my last adventure and try to save money and get everything paid off so that I could afford some sort of apartment or senior housing, something, because I knew I couldn't continue to work. So that's why I moved into my van. There's multiple reasons. Um, I like to say it's my last adventure and I, I hope to travel. But I have been in the van for two years. I have still been working at Walmart, and I just quit Walmart two weeks ago. Now, I have to learn to live on Social Security, only Social Security, and I am $8 above the poverty level. At least that's what I'm being told uh, for food stamps. I am eight dollars above the food stamp limit and however they did 60 years since I was 16 having paid into the system I was a little shocked to say the least so I started I moved into my van I started a YouTube channel and I have done a lot of soul searching but I'm not working anymore. So I have to stay on a strict budget. That means every penny I spend is accountable. So I thought I would give you my budget. Uh, my, my ex First, we're gonna start out with expenses. And then I'll tell you, as the expenses go, what my actual expenses are, and then what my budget will be for food and gas and Marley, my partner in crime. Let's get started. And it's $380 a month. And then I have car insurance. Now my car insurance, since my van is 10 years old, my car insurance was $80. However, I wanted to cover the contents inside the van and they added $40 for that. So I have a policy with $5,000 to cover the contents, uh, $120 a month. I will be changing that. I will be researching my car insurance. Um, I'll, I'll do a video and give you all the findings on what I discovered for car insurance. But at right now, that's where, what I have and that's what I pay. So that's actually $500. So that's one. My phone bill is $20. I'm on my son's plan. He has five phones on his plan. I am one of them and I pay him $20 a month for my line. I have two credit cards. My payments are roughly $300 a month. I do laundry. I spend $10 a month. And that's because I go to a laundromat where I do laundry once a month. It's $5.50 to do uh, four loads of wash in one machine. I only use one. It saves me money. And then the drying is free. Some places the drying is not free. So I add on $4.50 extra just in case I'm in a place where I have to pay for the drying. Water. I spend approximately or can spend up to $10 a month on water. Zero for electricity. I don't spend any money on clothing. It's very rare for me to buy anything. I have tons of clothes. So I really don't need anything at this age. You know, it's just a splurge. So it's not, nothing, I don't, I have everything I need. Let's put it that way. The next one is a big one, gasoline. Now, I haven't been traveling at all. I spend, right now, around $100 a month on gasoline. The 
reason is I do shop and work within a 10 mile area. Mainly it's a five mile area. Uh, up to this year, I have not put more than 4,000 miles on this vehicle every year. So my insurance will go up when I tell them I'm gonna start traveling. So gasoline is going to go up. But right now, that's what I spend. I allow for $200 for food. Remember, I'm on Social Security and I'm $8 above poverty level. I don't have a lot of money. So food is $200. And I can, can, can explain some of my meals to you and how I eat. I put 160 in savings every month for maintenance, for emergencies, for something that has to happen. All my credit cards are paid off except for two, which I'm paying off and I hope to pay off before the end of the year or mid next year. It depends, you know, it just depends on what happens and do I need money to pay for something, you know, maintenance or something if I, if I don't have enough in savings. So I, you gotta put something in savings every month. Somehow you've gotta, you've gotta do it. it. You have to build it up for all those emergencies, whether you're in a house or you're, you're in a van. You have all these expenses. House is more expensive. Maintenance on a house is much more expensive. I have a van and I do very well in my van. I, I love my van. So, my parking is free. I park on the streets. I am a city dweller because I work. That's changing. I'm going to start going to BLM land and parking there for weeks at a time. And that will be a learning experience for me because I'm not a country girl. <laughs> I'm a city girl. So that's going to change. So that's roughly three thirteen hundred dollars a month. You can't travel on hundred dollars a month on gas. I do make some money on uh, YouTube, but right now it's not enough to pay more than my storage and my PO box that I had to get, and it will have additional money for gas. Not a lot, but a, a, some. So, how do I do $200 a month for food? I only allow myself $4 a day for food. It's a very strict budget, but I have meals that I pretty much cook all the time. Before I left Walmart, I stocked up. Uh, I have six months worth of uh, food. Most of it's in my, my son's garage, in totes, in glass bottles. I, I have the dates and I rotate. Um, but it's basic foods. There's nothing extravagant, nothing special. You're talking rice, you're talking beans, you're talking potato uh, flakes or spuds or whatever. Um, canned goods. Just, you know, I, I bought a ton. Maybe I have a hundred packets of little gravies that I like that I mix just with water. So, there are, four, on four dollars a day, you don't have a lot of what I consider luxury items. I buy one box of butter a month, and that's the four little sticks. Now, I use so little butter, sometimes that one box with the four little sticks in it will last me four months or three months because I use so little butter. I don't use butter. Uh, uh, it's very rare. I go to the food bank. I did when I didn't work. I went to the food bank. Now I'm starting to go back and research. And um, I've been to the food bank. Uh, not since I quit, but I will be going. Then they have uh, city food. A, a, a little city food bank where one day a week they um, give you a bag of food. Sometimes it's rice, sometimes it's beans, uh, some canned goods, uh, no vegetables. 
it's you know it's just dry food and the food bank I uh, haven't gotten many vegetables or fruits from them at all however there are two churches in my area that have gardens and um, their young people work the gardens and all the vegetables that are in the gardens are given to uh, the seniors or the homeless in the area so every Friday which is today I have to go and um, look at at what they have and see if they're still doing it they used to do it from 12 to 2 every Friday so you go park your car <coughs> you don't have to show any proof any ID you go up and they hand you a bag of food sometimes it's four or five potatoes three or four plums maybe a couple of bananas a head of lettuce or a head of cabbage you know um, squash uh, just depends on what's in the garden and you get a little bit they don't give you a lot but they give you enough for a week so you know for vegetables so those vegetables are free so yeah, there's two churches here that do that so that's one way of adding to my budget but my four dollar a day budget is really about the foods I eat and how how often I cook um, so when I go shopping I always there every store even Walmart has a clearance shelving unit and it's usually a separate shelving unit it's usually all the way in the back and they so first I hit the shelving units on the clearance aisle or in the shelving unit in the food area sometimes on the clearance aisle there's two separate places at Walmart they will have uh, damaged paper towels damaged toilet paper that might be 30 or 40 percent off and uh, I will pick that up even if I don't need it because of the price savings as long as I have the money um, and many times I find potato spuds that would normally five and six dollars might be a dollar and I will buy those um, and I'll use those first if they're close to expiration date it, it just depends on on what you find it might be an item that still has a year left on it but they're no longer selling it on the shelf Safeway is the same way it has shelving units way in the back so that's part of my $200 budget is shopping correctly adding what free food I can but the included in that $200 budget are personal hygiene items ice anything else that I might need in daily life so your personal hygiene items I'll talk about in my next video because this is going to be a series and it's kind of a tough subject to talk about but you have to face it you know um, as you grow older there your body wears out and things happen young people don't quite understand this yet but they will they'll get there so now we're looking at what do I eat on a, a, a basis to where I can keep my food cost down to four dollars a day well right now I've got it down to two dollars a day I say four because some days I might eat four dollars worth of food however number one I don't eat out I don't stop by McDonald's I think I've been to McDonald's twice in six months I've eaten out maybe twice in six months. That's a very serious luxury. For $10, I can eat for a week on $10. And if you go to McDonald's, with the inflation the way it is right now, it's $10. Now, the way inflation is, it's really difficult to stick to your budget, but you've got to. Your savings is critical. And you have to be able to save for emergencies. Now, I do have empty credit cards, but I don't want to use them because I still have to pay that back, which increases, you know, my debt. You've got to stay out of debt. If you can move into your van and the van is paid for and you have no debt, 
you're going to be very well off and you will do very well. But I don't want to get sidetracked. Just remember, debt is your enemy right now and you want to get rid of it. So now let's go into the food. And I, I thought I would talk about uh, some of the meals I make for $2 a day. So, when I go shopping, I go to multiple stores. I do hit a gro I don't know if you have a grocery outlet where you live, but we do, and, and it's an excellent place to shop. I do go to grocery outlets, and for an example, I will give you one example. Three pounds of hamburger meat at Walmart is $13.47. That same three pounds of hamburger meat at the grocery outlet is $9.99. So, of course, I'm buying the $9.99. So, let's talk about my first meal. I make a pot of spaghetti. I use a third of my meat. That's $3.50. Then, I buy spaghetti, a package of spaghetti. Uh, the kind uh, is a, a Spanish brand, but it's $0.44 cents a package. And one package I put the whole package in you can cook it in the sauce where you're cooking you don't have to cook it separately because it's so tiny so it's very tiny spaghetti all broken up tiny spaghetti and if you need that I did a video on it if you need the name of it I just leave a comment and tell me and leave comments if you have questions leave comments if you have ways of keeping your expenses down please leave a comment and let me know so we can discuss it so a uh, three dollars and fifty cents forty four cents for the spaghetti and I think that's gone up to fifty six I haven't bought any lately what I bought was forty four cents I get a can of spaghetti sauce at the dollar store for a dollar twenty five and if I get an onion you're looking at maybe 50, 75 cents. So right there is $6 for one meal. I never buy bread, it's too expensive. We'll go into that later. I'll, we'll go into the items I feel are luxury items that I really can't afford. That's $6. I eat two meals a day, that's six meals. So two meals a day is $2. That's what I eat. Now, I make a variety of foods, so not every single meal I'm eating the same thing, but I can. If I have to stick to my budget, and that's all I have. My second is fried rice. I buy beef sticks, uh, the ends and the little pieces. They're spicy. They come in three pound packages. They last a very long time. They're sealed. Uh, they last a very long time. And when you buy three pounds at the grocery outlet, you get another three pounds for free. And it's $5.49 for three pounds. So I get six pounds for less than six dollars. So I'm going to round it out to a dollar a pound. I don't even use but a few ounces for fried rice. You know, I, I, I cut it all to pipe tiny pieces. And I buy those packages of fried rice that already have the vegetable in it you just boil it they're 99 cents at the grocery outlet that's two dollars I'm gonna say roughly two dollars for a little bit of fresh onion the uh, rice and the meat there's two dollars that's two meals so maybe day one I buy I eat spaghetti the day two I buy I eat rice day three I eat spaghetti again and day four I eat pigs in a blanket. So at the grocery outlet, they have a package of eight croissants, two packages for a dollar. That's 50 cents. I take those eight croissants, I cut them in half, and I put these tiny little beef sticks in them, and I cook them in my fryer, which we'll talk about what I have in my van that helps me stick to this kind of a budget. So, I make pigs in a blanket on my air fryer. That's another two meals, you know. And 
I might have a morning meal of, of pigs in a blanket and an afternoon meal of spaghetti. Altogether, I'm looking at $2 per day. Those are just some of the things that I do to keep my budget in line and to live well. I don't I don't go hungry, okay? I treat myself sometimes to a 99 cent package of oatmeal cookies. That's a, a real treat. Or if they have maybe a bag of candy for 99 cents. At the dollar store, they have little Snicker bars and they're individually and there's six of them and it's $1.25. I might have a, a Snicker bar. So I'm not starving. I'm eating well. As far as I'm concerned, you may not. You may not think so. It's not the best food in the world. I eat very little, two meals a day. I lose weight constantly. I'm, I'm not a large person. And um, my cholesterol is fine. Um, I'm not on any pills. So I don't have medical um, pills right now, which would have to fit into the budget. The prescriptions, that's it. I want to end this video because I don't want to make it too long for you, but I wanted you to uh, understand this will be a series. I would appreciate you subscribing and hitting the like button, and if you would put a comment in, I will respond to that comment. But for this video, I'm going to end it, and I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Campbell.